Have you ever been in this situation? The deadline's approaching, but you just can't find the right Excel file anywhere. Pretty stressful, right? I'm Daniel, and I have been a business owner for the past decade. On this channel, I'm sharing my insights with you. In this video, I'll show you four proven methods to recover unsaved, lost, or deleted spreadsheets. These four approaches offer the highest chance of bringing your files back. And at the end, I'll show you how to recover files that aren't even in the recycle bin. And guys, before we get started, just a quick reminder. Check the description for helpful links and discounts you won't want to miss. So let's jump right in. How to recover lost files. So guys, the first and easiest way to find an Excel file you can't locate is by using the spotlight search bar. You can do this in one of two ways. Either click on the magnifying glass icon at the top of your MacBook screen or press command and space on your keyboard. Once you've done that, start typing the name of your file, like I'm doing now with the word project, and here we go. We can now see all Excel files that have project in the name. But what if you don't remember the name of the file? There's a solution for that too. Simply type in the file extension .xlsx in the search bar. As you can see, all Excel files will show up here as well. Now let's move on to the next method. If you accidentally deleted your Excel file and can't find it in regular folders, you can try recovering it from the bin. Find the bin icon in the bottom right corner of your screen, click on it, and here it is. Our deleted Excel file is right there. Right-click on it, select Put Back, and it will return to the folder it was originally in, which is Documents. From there, you can open the file and continue working on it. However, my friends, even if you've accidentally deleted the file from the bin, you might still be able to recover it. Let's look at an example. Say you've opened the file and made some edits. Just make sure the autosave toggle is turned on. After that, you can safely close the file. Now let's delete it. First from the folder it's in. And then from the bin. You'll see a warning that the file can't be restored once deleted, but that's not entirely true. Open your browser and go to the OneDrive cloud storage. Since autosave was turned on, our file, Project May 12, 2025, is right here. This is the one. Now you can edit and save it directly in the cloud. Guys, before we continue, I am happy to share my insights with you. And all I ask in return is that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks. Let's get back. What if autosave wasn't turned on? In that case, it might seem like your file is permanently lost, both from your computer and from its original folder. Is there still a chance to recover it? Yes, there is. For that, you'll need a tool called Wondershare Recovery. It lets you recover files from any internal or external hard drive. In this example, I'll show you how to restore files that we deleted from the bin. Start by selecting the Trash folder. The app will immediately launch a quick scan. Give it a moment. You can switch to the File Type tab to view results by type or check the File Path tab. At the bottom, you'll see the progress. Here it's 10% complete and the software has already started finding some files. But so far, we don't see any Excel documents in the Documents section. And now, my friends, take a look. It has found 744 files. Still not a single Excel file yet. That's why I'm going to click Deep Scan to unlock the app's full capabilities. The search continues. And now we're starting to see new files. Give it a little more time. And here we go, an XXLX folder is here. Let's open it. And now we can see four Excel files that were completely lost and deleted from the computer. If these are the files you're looking for, you can pause the scan. Next, click Recover and Confirm. But before restoring the files, be sure to check the boxes next to them. Then click Recover. 
After that, choose the destination folder, where you want to save the recovered files, and hit save. Final thoughts. Alright guys, let's wrap it up. We've covered four simple methods that are easy to remember and apply. If you ever get in a similar situation, you'll know how to locate the missing Excel file, either through the search bar or in the trash. And don't forget to turn on autosave. But most importantly, remember this. When nothing else works, recover it almost always does. It just brings back everything perfectly. Also, if you are used to saving or backing up files with an SD card or hard drives, Recover it supports nearly all external storage devices, trusted by over 100 million users worldwide, backed by 20 years of expertise in data recovery. Secure, reliable, powerful recovery for any device, only with Recover it. It's the ultimate solution for recovery of Excel files. All right, my friends, and that's all about my Excel recovery review. So don't forget to check those links in the description below. If you had a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.